Hello viewers, this is Brent. Uh, I'm starting out this Portuguese cut by using one of the polished quartz spears that I bought at a uh, gem show. This is Brazilian quartz and uh, I picked up several different sizes and uh, what I like about it is I can use the polished finish to see inside the gem very easily. I can work around some of those inclusions and uh, it's much easier since it's polished. So uh, I'll get started on this stone uh, here. I've used uh, wax to dop this gemstone. And dopping is putting the stone you're going to cut onto a brass uh, stick actually kind of. It's made of brass and uh, it holds the gem while you're cutting. And uh, here I'm going ahead and I am cutting the facets and using a rough cutting disc and uh, I used a 260 for the preforming. Here I've gone around and cut all of the facets all the way up to the culet tip and these have been uh, polished also. At this stage here I'm actually polishing it with uh, cerium oxide. Uh, it's a lightning lap I'm using on this. Okay, here we are with the finished, completely polished culet, which is the lower half of the stone. And I believe the entire stone has 177 facets on this particular design. And uh, it polished up really nice using the cerium oxide. Here I've transferred the gemstone to a second dot stick and I used epoxy for this second transfer this where I glued it on and uh, here I've separated the first dot stick that I used and I've started cutting the what we call the crown the upper half of the gemstone here I'm using a uh, 600 grit lap for the top or the, uh, the crown of this stone. And this is what we're looking like so far. I've cut further down. Here's where I'm going to size my girdle. And I've got to get that even smaller because it's still too thick. Okay, I'm getting very close to the size, the girdle thickness that I want. I've gone all the way around the stone, cut, cutting all of those first facets. Here I'm continuing on. This should be the next tier of facets, I believe. I think there's five tier on the crown. Which tiers are the rows of facets? And the Portuguese cut has five on top and I think six or seven on the bottom I forget now but uh, there are a lot of facets on these stones anyway yeah this second uh, tier of facets I'm cut okay I went ahead and uh, cut them all the way to the top and pre-polished the first four I guess it is tiers and the last tier hasn't been pre-polished yet you can see there they have the frosty look I'm working my way through them all. Uh, I'm using a 3000 grit lightning lap for pre-polishing on this gem. And here it looks like I've pre-polished all the crown facets. No, I haven't gotten there yet. Excuse me, I'm still working on them. Okay, at this point I'm polishing and I'm using a gear loose dark side lap and I'm using cerium oxide in a bat stick also from gear loose and actually this was a new a new lap for me and I, I broke the lap in using this gemstone it meaning that was the first time I had used a 
dark side lap and I like it very well. It, it did a fine job. Here we're ready to cut the table of the gemstone. I've got the 45 degree adapter set up and aligned with the lap. We're getting our lap going here. Getting the water set up just right. Our water drip which has got to be used on diamond uh, cutting laps and uh, we're going to cut the table down till it just meets that last row of facets and here I am going back and polishing some of those crown facets one more time I uh, had to slightly polish a couple of star facets they weren't quite deep enough and I went back after I had cut the table and worked on about three or four star facets and got them just perfect. So here is the finished gemstone. And the gemstone measures 28.1 millimeters in diameter and it weighs 95.5 carats. And the, this stone took me on and off about a month to cut because I had other projects to do in the meantime so I would set it aside, work on it when I felt like it. And uh, finally this last week I decided to finish it. And here we are with some uh, finished shots on the turntable. This is indoor lighting under LED lights. And I've got another clip coming up where I've taken the gem outside and shot it in outside light, not in direct sun, but in daylight. And once again, I'll have to say that the dark side lap and the cerium oxide did a fine job on this gemstone. I think it's going to be what I use from now on for cerium oxide. I mean for, uh, for quartz. The polishing was quick and easy. Okay, I'm going to end the narration here, and uh, we'll see you on the next video, and thank you for watching, and stay safe.